I believe I was truly born to be a teacher. I thought I wanted to do several different things. None of those ever really panned out for me. And uh, things kept working out that just sort of pushed me into education. Over the last 30 plus years, it's been my life. It's been a huge, huge part of me. My dad was a teacher and uh, I really enjoyed the life that we had as a family. After I got into it, that's when I really fell in love with it. And it was all about the kids and the relationship with the kids. Education has allowed me to meet a lot of people, hopefully to help a lot of students and staff because I really enjoy helping people get their jobs done um, to make their lives easier so that when they have a big project due or something like that, that they don't have as much stress about it and that it's off their shoulders. I've always loved working with kids of any age. I started out at Eastridge Elementary and worked my way up through the junior high to the high school and all of them are just wonderful kids. When I was working in the libraries, it was really cool to see whenever I found a book to match the kid, when the kid really started enjoying reading, those that didn't like reading. And to see the kids develop has really been rewarding. It's just been amazing to see how the school district operates, even though I've been in the business part of it, but just to see it for my children and how it works and how the education has grown and how our district has really, you know, changed in the education part and for the better. I decided to get out now. I'm still young enough that I can do some different things. I have hobbies and things that I would like to do and uh, take advantage of that. You know, it just felt right. This was the right time. I've always heard that you'll know when it's the right time, and it just felt like now was the right time to do it. And with my daughter and her husband and their two children moving from San Antonio up to the Metroplex, it's really the right time now. I do a lot of multitasking, and I think my brain has said enough. Also, I love to do art. So my plan is to go over the, all over the country taking master classes uh, in glass, fused glass. Now is the right time for me because you know, I think when you get to be a certain age, you just know, oh, I'm gonna miss a lot, you know, but I say I'm not, but I mean, I'm gonna miss my friends. I'm just gonna miss the opportunity to see how the district grows and being involved in that. I will miss the people I work with. I really, really love the people in this building and the people in the district as well because I work a lot with administration and I will really miss them and the camaraderie. My family here at Red Oak, I, I will. I will miss the family and I will miss the kiddos every day, seeing them. We have a wonderful, wonderful group of CTE teachers here at Red Oak High School and I will really, really miss those folks. Since I've been out of the classroom, it's, it's the students. I miss the students. I still see them, see students that have graduated. That makes me proud to see them, that they're doing well. Every kid that walks in my room is a little different microcosm of America. and and dealing with each different kid helps me appreciate America. I'm looking forward to trying something different and doing something that's kind of out of the box and not what I usually do. I've really never had time to do a little gardening and sewing and just doing things I really want to do and have time to do it and travel. We're going to do some traveling. Fishing. No alarm clocks. Building furniture, woodworking. Time not getting up at 5.50 in the morning, spending time at my sewing machine, not having to get up by an alarm, and the best part is spending time with my grandkids. I wanted to tell new teachers or new counselors or new administrators even that go home. The work will still be there when you come back the next day. And yes, we do all have to work overtime sometimes, but you still have to go home. What is that my daughter always says about family work balance? Make sure you have that family work-life balance. You never really know the impact that you're going to have on your students until they graduate and then even years after that. Stick with it. You may not even get your real payoff until 10 years, maybe even 20 years like me, maybe even 30 years down the road that you run into ex-students and uh, to see them doing well, uh, to see them with their family, uh, uh, that's that's the, re the rewarding part. Be yourself. If you're a teacher, if you were born to be a teacher, go into the classroom and let the kids see a human being. What is one word you would use to awesome. describe Red Oak? I think awesome is the one word.
That's family. Growing. Fantabulous. Fantabulous. I love working for Red Oak ISD. I've had very good experience here. Again, the people have been just wonderful to me. I've enjoyed working for them and they've given me the opportunity to have so many different things in my life I couldn't have had if I'd worked somewhere else. It really has been family, not only the Red Oak ISD family, but my family has been involved with Red Oak ISD for the last 24 years. For a great majority of my career here, this has been the best school district in North Texas.